of the algebraic relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable. You might say, what? Um, between x and y. Because um, in science class, you've been learning something called dry mix. Dry mix. Dry stands for the dependent is in the y value, and the um, mix is independent, the x value. So before we begin that, let's look at our do now. In our do now, it was an order operation. That's what we've been learning for the past few days. Lindsay and Diego are arguing over the following problem. Lindsay said, it is correct. Diego said, you are wrong. Which student is correct? First of all, we need to separate this into terms and operator, additive and subtractive operators. I see additive operator, I see a subtractive operator. The first term is 12 divided by 3, which is 4. That is correct. The second term is 4. 4 is 4. The third term is 24 divided by 3 times 8. This, she did 24, and then she went back here and did 3 times 8, and I have no idea what she's doing. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. So... It should be 64 there. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. That's the first term. 4 is 4. The last term should be 64. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 minus 64. Well, we know that it's going to be a um, negative number. Again, how do you subtract? How do you subtract negative numbers? Some people do add the opposite. Keep, flip, change it, or keep, change, flip. Add the opposite. So I turn the subtractive to it, adding, and I do the opposite. So do I have more positive or more negatives? I have more negatives. How many more negatives do I have? I have 56 more negatives. Because I subtract 64 minus 8, which is 56, and I have more subtractive. So it's negative 56. So again, the first term is 12 divided by 3 is 4. The second one is 4. That's 4 plus 4 is 8. And then the last term is 64. 8 minus 64 is negative 56. We're going to be reading a storybook called The Doorbell Rang. In this story, um, guests arrive in the home. They all want the free grandma's cookies. In the first doorbell rang, they had three guests. In the second doorbell right they had four guests arrive in the third doorbell they had five guests six guests seven guests so instead of me can we find a relationship rule because I don't want to really go and do like do six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four there must be a relationship rule so what's the relationship between the number of rings and the number of guests who enter well first of all it's increasing so it's either multiplication or it could be um, add addition. Let's try multiplication. Times three, that works. No. Times three, no. Well, if it's not multiplication, maybe it's addition. Plus two, plus two, plus two. The rule is plus two. Yes. So if there were 10 doorbell rings plus 2, there should be 12 guests who enter. If there are 20 doorbell rings, 22 guests will enter. 50, 52 guests, and 102. So according to the table, how many guests will enter at the 7th doorbell ring? If there was a 7 here, 7 plus 2, it would be 9, door, nine guests. According to the table, how many guests will enter at the 30th? It's 30th. Do plus 2, because that's a function rule, or the relationship rule, is 32. You may have learned it as input-output. You put something in, there's a function rule, and then it comes out as something else. Number 3. And then, now, let's get to a little harder part. In science class, you have learned something called dry mix. In the x value is the manipulative independent variable or x-axis. The way they teach it is ix. Independent is x-axis. 
This is the dependent variable which responds. It's the y-axis. And we need to teach us this. So we're going to determine which one is the independent and dependent according to the table. According to the table, how many guests will enter at the 48 doorbell? So 48 plus 2 is 50 guests. Now list the independent variable. So independent variable is the x-axis. So this is the independent. This is the dependent. Let's go back. The independent is called number of rings and quantities. The numbers were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100. List the dependent variable. The dependent was the number of guests who enter. Number of guests who enter. The quantities are plus 2 is 3, plus 2, let's go back and just copy down what I saw for the chart. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, 22, 52, and 102. So another way to do it is the number of guests depends on the number of rings. That's how some people find dependent and independent. If there's no table, sometimes they just give you the two names and you just say, which one do you think is the independent? Which one is the dependent? So the number of guests who enter depends on how many doorbell rings. That's why this is the dependent. Number six, what's the relationship rule? The rule is plus two. Write an expression to show the relationship between x and y. So let's go back here. So we're adding 2 to the, these independent variables. What letter did we use right here? x. So we're adding 2 to x. So the relationship of the is expression is x plus 2. x is the number of doorbell rings. We add 2 to it. So in algebra, an expression is like a sentence, a math sentence. It has numbers in it, it has operators in it, and it has a symbol. A symbol, for example, 2 times 3 is an expression. Do you know how there's no equal sign is? It's just a math sentence without a solution to it, like 5 plus 6. G plus M. 9 times 0. Um, 8 plus 4 plus 3 plus 7. 5 groups of 8. And a variable, something you're going to hear a lot in algebra, is a symbol. It is a symbol for a number we don't know yet. For example, x and y. If you go back to our story, the variable was x. We wanted to do, what if we wanted to know the number of doorbell rings, find the number of doorbell, but we haven't, we don't know what exactly the number is yet. So that's why we used x. So, um, so we have input is known as so, and then using dry mix. The independent is the x-axis, the dependent is the y-axis. So the input is the x-axis, the y-output is the y-axis or the dependent. So find a relationship between x and y. How do you turn a 15 to a 3? It's getting small. Divide by 5. I bet you just divide by 5. 20 divided by 5 is... Never mind. Well, if it's not dividing, oh, subtraction, minus 12, minus 12, minus 12, minus 12, minus 12. The relationship rule is you take 12 away from the independent. Again, dry, mix. So the x is the independent. So list the independent shown in the table. So we know independent is the x one. So the quantities are 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Which number in the table represents the dependent? The dependent. The dependent is the y-axis. 
3, 8, 13, 18, 23. Write an expression, show the relationship between x and y. So I'm taking 12 away from all of these x values. So it's x minus 12. Next one. The table shows the cost for student admission to AMC Theater. One ticket costs five seventy-five. Two tickets will cost eleven fifty. Three tickets will cost seventeen twenty-five. So what is the relationship rule? I think it's not adding. It's multiplying by five seventy-five. So which label best describes the dependent here? Dry mix. So dry mix. The dependent is the y-axis. So Oh, hey, they didn't use X and Y. They use a different letter for the variable. But you know what? On a table, this would be the X value. This would be the Y value, the input, output. So let's see, dependent is Y axis. So cost, which label best describes the independent value? Independent is the X one, so number of tickets. Again, why is this a dependent? The cost depends on the number of tickets you buy. So this is the reason why this is a dependent. We, the more tickets you buy, the cost will go up. So it depends on how many tickets you buy. Write an expression to describe the relationship. The relationship is you're multiplying by 575. Are we using X and Y now? No, we're using C and T. So you're multiplying all of these 1, 2, 3 ticket numbers T times 575. T times 575. There's another way to write that. 575T. You just say 575 times the number of tickets. Or tickets time, number of tickets times 575. Both of these are correct. However, we usually write, when we do groups of stuff, we usually write the number first before the variable. When multiplying. And the last example, Jenna babysits on weekends to earn spending money. She charges $5 per hour for each child. That's very cheap. Create a table below to show the amount of money Jenna earns for one child in relation to the number of hours she works. Then graph the data. So one hour, she makes five bucks. Three hours, she makes 15. How? The relationship rule is times five, which is $25. Seven, hour, seven hours work, that's $35. So times 5, so we're multiplying that number of hours times 5. I know what they're going to ask me. So before I dry, mix, so independent is, this is the independent. This is the dependent. If you notice, even though they did not use X and Y, they use H and E. But we know that in the table, when you graph point, X, Y. So, let's graph this. Oh, they forgot to label it. So, hours right here, and amount earned. So, one hour of work is five bucks. Two hours of work is $10. Three hours is 15. Four is 20. Five is 25. Six is 30. Zero hours of work is zero. Let's connect there. What label best describes the dependent? Dependent. Oh, dry mix. Dependent is amount of amount earned. Which relation? Which label best describes the independent? Independent is x hours. Again, why is this so? If you do not remember dry mix, the amount earned depends, that's why it's dependent, depends on how many hours she work. The more hours she work, the more she makes. The less hours she works, the less she makes. So the dependent is amount earned. Write an expression to describe the relationship. The relationship is you multiply by 5 by the number of hours. So H times 5 or... Five eight. That's five out five dollar for every hour. Because we don't really do hour time, hour. So we do five h. That's the correctly written. This is correct, but five h is better.
So what we turn off talked about today is dependent and independent. Know your dry mix from science class. That will really help you. And then how to find a relationship or the rule between the input and the output or between the independent and dependent variable.